Hi everyone. In this episode of Home Center Secrets, I'm going to introduce you to four uniquely Japanese items that I think you should either own or perhaps consider taking back to your home country as a gift or a souvenir. Oh yeah. Good day. Growing up in Canada, we used a hatchet to chop wood and to make kindling. Here in Japan, actually I use a wood burning stove to heat my home in the winter and so I still chop wood. But I discovered the Japanese nata and this is, well, it's like a, a hatchet but as you see it's got a longer blade and uh, it's just, just more agile and it's good for cutting, um, well, chopping wood, small wood, but what it really shines is when you're out in the garden and you're cutting small limb. And they come in a couple of different styles. This one here has a guard on the end. And what that's good for is when you're cutting low to the ground, uh, maybe roots or things like that, and you don't want to damage the, the blade. So there's different kinds of nata, but they're really good, agile, Enough weight to get the momentum in there, super sharp. So, let's see how to use it. I've got my nata in hand, some safety gloves on, and some wood here. Let's give it a go. So you want to use the base of it here and get it started, and then just push down. Cuts like butter. Okay, this is a good example of the size of limb that you can cut really easy with the nata. that easy. The next item I have is truly Japanese. I'm talking about the Jikatabi. This is, well, now it's a, a workman's boot. It has a split toe. It just gives you a lot of flexibility and a flat sole. Then when you're on, on uneven surfaces, a lot of agility, and it's just super comfortable. The sole these days are made out of rubber. Long, long time ago, this is all made of animal skin. And then uh, later on in history, they actually used uh, woven straw for the sole. And then in 1922, right here in Fukuoka, the Bridgestone Company developed the rubber sole Jikatabi. And that's what I have here today, and we're going to test it out. It's almost like another sock. You just slide on the uh, Jikatabi like that. As I told you, it's got split toe here. It already feels comfy. And this is also really unique. These are lines of like string or cord and you um, fit these little metallic tabs one by one. And again, like if you want it tighter, you'd go over here, you know, if you want a tighter fit. Great. Jikatabi demonstration, wall walking. Peasy. <laughs> this next item looks a little unusual, but it really works and it's so Japanese. What I mean by that is it uses small miniature electronics to solve an important problem. This, my friends, is the fan cooled work vest. And it's made of polyester and nylon, but it also has a titanium coating on it, which apparently adds to the cooling abilities of it. Anyways, open it up here and boom, we have the fans, two fans that are connected to a battery, which is in a special pocket over here. 12 volt battery has a couple modes. It has a um, nine volt, oh, you can hear the fans going, 12 volts and six. The six is good for what, 20 hours, uh, eight hours, and 20 hours of cooling time. Not only that, but you can actually turn this on and off using a Bluetooth app on your smartphone. And these fans, they just weigh 95 grams each. And this is a pocket here to add a little ice pack, cool pack. And lots of thoughtful designs, they have some um, little like fasteners for the cable. You can see the fans on the back. But um, let me show you, let me try it on and show you how it works. Little pocket here. Oh, lots of air coming through. I have to zip it up. And now it starts to fill up with air. 
And the really cool thing is back here, back of the neck, I'm getting a constant flow of air coming out here, which feels good. And it's just a really, really comfy jacket. It's got all the pockets, a couple side pockets here, another pocket up here. And uh, yeah, just the mobility is fantastic. And that's an important point. So, you know, it really isn't that hot here. I'm thinking I know a place where we can really test this out. So, let's go. And that place is here, the Mataichi Salt Factory in Itoshima, where they burn wood to heat this seawater to make natural salt. And it gets hot, really hot. But I have my fan jacket on. So I'm staying cool. How about you? Too hot. He needs a fan jacket. <laughs> Many times I'm at the home center and I see something I want to buy, but it's too big to fit into my car. For those times, you can use this. Good Day has a free one hour truck service. You can drive this yourself and take anything back home. This next item is truly a Japanese home center secret. This is the tripod orchard ladder and it's amazing. Um, as you can see, it's got three legs and it has a really wide base. And this makes it super stable, even on uneven terrain. And it lets you get into uh, deep areas, like right into the tree for access, for pruning, for picking fruit, trimming. It's made of aluminum and there's no nuts, no, no bolts or anything like that. It's all welded. It's super strong and light. The great thing about the tripod ladder is you can get in right inside the tree, up and over, and it's just fantastic for doing some pruning. There you go. Four truly unique Japanese items that you can get at a home center here in Japan that, hey, I recommend you use or for a gift or souvenir when you go back home. What were your favorites? What are your favorite items from a Japanese home center? I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments below. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next month for more home center secrets.